Good day everybody, this is Men, and today I want to show you a little technique that I use uh, to determine specific heights. We have basically programs like World Machine or World, World Painter and uh, Gaia. First of all, in World Painter, what you want to know is the specific height of your map. Here you go ahead and uh, want to check that for 1.18. We have the new heights of minus 64 and all the way to 319. What we can do is we can combine these. Uh, we go uh, 6 minus 64 and plus the 490 blocks giving us a total height of 383 this is something we have to know for world machine in world machine we can go ahead into project project settings uh, project setup and then we have uh, under dimension preferences the new units and here we want to set it to uh, this number basically so the number that we just calculated uh, times 10. So it's good to know that Word Painter, uh, uh, sorry, Word Machine uh, works on a 1 to 10 scale. So one block is 10 meters in Word, Word Machine. And Gaia is a little bit different, where you have a total scale of 100% and then divided by the total uh, blocks. So we have here my little setup to determine uh, the heights. And what you can do, or what I do, is basically I have a little gradient that just goes from, from one side to the other. Put a little um, expand node with a normalize and clip it a little bit so that I have more deterministic uh, zeros and ones. So the lowest point is zero and the highest point is one. Then uh, we combine here all these little blocks into, uh, into one uh, yeah, combined one and put it into an output node. And if you ask now on what all these blocks are, so I have here these shapes, uh, just rectangles. I can move around and I went ahead and clipped it. So 127, 126, 125 and 64. The 64 is probably the easiest to understand. So we have the new uh, depth of minus 64 blocks uh, leading basically if we would do plus 64 uh, at 640 meters, uh, we would end up at zero in wall painter. If we would add another 62 blocks for the um, default water level, we end up at 126, which would be this. So we have we have the total depth of 64 for the underground, and then the default water level is at 62. This gives us 126. And we have uh, one block be beneath the water level at 125, and one block above the water level at 127. If we go ahead and export this, and we go ahead, map import 18, set this to 64, it's already 319. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we have here our map. And if you look uh, beneath here into this little section here, down below, uh, we have the absolute zero that we set at 64, the one beneath the, the water level at 125. 26 and 127 which results in 63 62 61 and 0. this is how uh, i went ahead and figured out uh, at which levels i have to do the water levels i hope this helped uh take care have a good one and drop a like thank you bye bye